Hello, ladies and gents. I am the Rev. Welcome on back to more of Spaceborn. And I got a communique that I need to come back to the base because they've kind of got an idea to do. It sets up the next part of the game, which is going to be wormholes and anomalies. So, here's the famous space scientist I told you about. Neror Sokur. Okay. Yeah, that was me. So, Urka gave you details, I'm sure. Yes, she did. You want to know what happened to your world, right? Yes. There is a tiny problem. I would be surprised if there weren't. Your solar system is in the Milky Way galaxy. Out of our galaxy. In other words, it's not my area of expertise. Oh, we're in a whole other damn galaxy. Damn. I know that. We called you in for nothing, it seems. No, 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 exactly. I don't know what happened to your world, but somehow I can find out. How? How should I best explain this? The speed of light is slow in the physics of space, so sometimes the lights of dim stars continue to be seen by us for thousands of years. When we look at the stars, we actually see the light of a thousand years ago. This means that there are places where your world's light from thousands of years ago has not yet reached. With the help of the telescope that I invented, we can glimpse past your world's days of war. Hey, what? I told you, he is the best. But of course, no such telescope has been made yet. I had a few attempts before, but without all the materials I needed, I couldn't manage to get the result I wanted. This is gonna hurt. What you missing, dude? First, we need a wormhole core gem. Oh, God. It'll be using this to get a better reflection. It can be found in high-level wormholes. Second is jar glass. This will help with the clarity of the image. You can find this in a level 3 anomaly. And finally, some money to collect other essential parts of the telescope. Yo, how much scratch, brother? Around eight month. What? It'll be a huge telescope. After collecting all these items, we can produce the construction of the telescope. I've been to wormholes and anomalies, but I've never seen the materials you're talking about. It's because you didn't know what you were looking for. I'm going to do the collection. Just call me in once the place is clear and leave the rest to me. Okay. And where do we build it? While you are gathering these materials, I will start the search for a good location, okay? I'm going to take... It shouldn't take long, three days tops. I had practice. Okay, all right. Hey, weapons merchant. Oh, you got squat diddly, man. So since the last episode, while I was out running around waiting for these guys, I did get a new weapon. So we will have different sound effects for our main weapon tonight. Ooh, what's this one? Ooh, level 64. Now the only problem is what we're doing now, the mission, level 35. And we're level 32. Flat 15, huh? Ah, no, we'll take it. What defensive? What do we got? I think I got a better one than that. Armor reinforcement. Yeah, I'm more at this point about. Uh, Oh, what is this? Increases the ship's energy recovery by 30%. I don't know if I... Alright, scan... We'll give a shot with the scan booster. So, 
The other major thing that you're going to want to do is when you go into these anomalies, you need to make sure that you're ready to go, right? Let's see. What does that mean? That means shield rechargers because your shield's going to get chewed up unless you got a better shield than I do. Now, when it comes to ships, I have a, I think, three-star epic ship that's what the, that's why my stats are just crazy and i'm kicking ass so bad in the ship that cost me a million and a half credits but yeah these are the ones you want to keep with and then of course a little bit of energy booster on the side but see i spent a shit ton of money making sure i got plenty of these because so far i've only found a tier one wormhole so all right energy booster what is this Oh, it's like a tier one. Oh man, I don't have anything I can stick in there. How much? Ooh, I wonder. Yeah. And we're gonna keep, yeah, we're gonna do that just for uh, this mission set. What is this? Turret damage, 15. <sighs> Turn ignition. Oh, so it just flat out increases that. And that's a flat out damage buff. There we go yeah we're still good all right now the reason i did that is what we're going to be doing is um it's going to be a little rough oh wait a minute we're going to be constantly up close fighting people so oh really tier three huh here's my new weapon it is uh, advanced beam type bullets using, yeah. So it uses bullets. So it does not affect my, my energy anywhere as much. At least it doesn't seem like it. I haven't had any problems with my energy. I suppose we'll go up there. Warp drive charging in three, two, one. All right, so. At this point, what we do is start looking, right? So, here, we'll start right in our own backyard. Okay. So we have a tier two space anomaly, which isn't good enough. It has to be tier three. We need our tier three wormhole. And I don't know. I've only seen one level ones right now. Right? And this is 33. And we're not even at the level yet. But. We're going to go do it. So I can show you guys these at level. And then I'm going to have to look. And then I'll try and find a level we'll two. Try and a level three. In three, two, one. If you're looking for lots and lots of combat, here we go. Get it. 
All right, wormholes have multiple stages. Once the stage is complete, another stage will be added to your scanner. In order to travel through a wormhole, you need to have a chance have a clone of your ship. Wormholes are rogue-like elements of the game. If you die inside a wormhole, you move to your clone and lose all your loot, but you keep your experience points. You can exit a wormhole whenever you like. You will keep your items and experience points, but you won't be able to go back to that wormhole again. So you can only hit it once. All right, clone our ship. And once your ship is a cloned, there we go. Uh, let's see. Oh, yeah, there we go. There's our ship. Oh, it turns with us, man. That's not my ship. Anyways. So you got your exit if you don't have enough stuff to fire off like your um, energy weapons. I do. Warp drive charging in three, two, one. If you do like to play in first person mode, I started playing with the keys and you have to hit your alt key and you see how the screen darkens. See, look at that. Ta -da. And you can also do that in this mode. See what's doing here. A little radar here again not bad personally way too much of the screen is eaten up with the cockpit man at the most we should have maybe this little bit right here in the first person mode right all this is way too much for me because you can't see anything i need to be able to see what i'm doing all right so tag that stage getting next coordinate on sector you're going in nasty I think there's like five stages. I think I haven't, I didn't go Enemy all the way detected. through one of these. I left early, but see, yeah, see how close these guys are and trying to keep a distance is a nightmare. But you got to kill, uh, they have various different types of challenges. it is oh that's good to know you can see my energy regulation is much better with this weapon i'm using and it's even stronger than what i have before buddy right at me stage clear all right let's grab our loot there we go up 
<laughs> the little thing got away. What do you call it? The, uh... Escape pod. And then I think we just go back over here. Or no, the next stage should be ready. So, we just hit here. And... Go to the next one. Warp drive charging. In three, two, one. Getting next coordinate on sector. And I'm going to do a little bit of editing here and there, just to speed this whole process up. And then you guys, um, hopefully you'll enjoy it. Phase is coming in. Three, two, one. Enemy detected. of them. Really? We didn't get anything out of that one? Next phase is coming in. Three. That's two, one. One. Enemy detected. Last phase is coming in. 
Three, up. Two, yeah. Just wait one. for this night. Finish off this phase. Enemy and... detected. That's a lot of boxes. Well, not too bad. About it, though. Stage clear. Next stage imported to scanner. Hey, where's it going? Make sure the old shield gets all the way back up. Yeah. All right. Stage three. Warp drive charging in three, two, one. Getting next coordinate on sector. And that is full of loot right there. That's what that is, is our loot. All right, see what we get. In order to access this stash and get to next stage coordinate, hold your ground for two minutes, 59 seconds. Enemy detected. all these ships are coming from who they are
take that dude out. those ships we blew up nothing oh well stage four warp drive charging in three two one Getting next coordinate on sector. Okay, so this one's got a real nasty group that comes after you. This is as far as I went. Then I ran out of uh, shield boosters and had to stop. Enemy detected. My friends was not fun. And another crap. Really? Hmm. Oh well. All right. Okay. Here's stage five. Now remember, this is the first level of anomalies. We've got two more levels to go of this.
warp drive charging in 3, 2, 1. Getting next coordinate on sector. I hope there's only five levels, I should say. In order to access this stash and get to next stage coordinate, hold your ground for two minutes fifty nine seconds. Enemy detected. you could cheese this but I kind of want to make as much experience as I can while I'm doing this Just seeing if I could sneak any extra f uh, stuff. Extra chest here and there. Stages are there. Okay, so we got everything filled up, ready to go. All right. The boss. Let's get the boss. Warp drive charging in three, two, one.
Enemy detected. Suppose that's a question, isn't it? This thing. Where's all that? Hey, what are these? Mines? Inside the ship, there, Mr. Buddy. Okay, so I can't make my mind up what I want to take out first. And who I can take out. Dead yet, huh? It's okay, it just keeps telling me where to shoot next.
I can't stop getting that stupid key. Okay. There's something on top. God. You have to take these guys out no matter what. Probably a set number. I guess we just had to make it through one, huh? Ooh. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Don't know where we're still supposed to get freaking eight million credits at. Ooh. Actually, that's better than what I have, isn't it? Nice. Another laser sure it's better than what I had. Right, all right, oh, we got exiting now. Oh, of course, my ship's overloaded. Ah, oh, finally, all right. Warp drive charging in three, two, one. As easy as that. Oh, wow, it sent us home. Nope, nobody else is here, doesn't look like. Everybody's back to their old positions. So, you have to find a jar of gem, which means I have to find a level three anomaly. <clears throat> For us, I think. I think that's what it said. Anyways, turn in, do the next episode. We'll figure it out. As always, keep your heads down. Your pilots of doom up and all. See you again real damn soon.